it's probably hard to tell what this material is in this position, but basically what it is is a pallet rack. A pallet rack is the same kind of shelving, the metal shelving you see in these big box stores like Costco and uh, Sam's Club. And basically, this is a pallet rack that has been set on its side. This is the bottom, which would be sitting on the floor, and there would be another one of these on the opposite end, which is now the roof of this project, and this is the floor of this project. In this project, I'm using two pallet racks this one and a mirror image on that side. <clears throat> what I've done here is laid down the other half of the pallet rack, that's this side over here, and I've leveled it out and I have placed it so that it's exactly eight feet from the outside of that crossbar to the outside of this crossbar right here and that it's equal from eight feet on this end to eight feet on that end and that the exact length from the cross corners is the same and by doing that it makes everything squared up. So this will essentially be <coughs> a box that's eight feet wide and 12 feet long. This shelving has this little bracket on here and there are these um, two posts that, that go in and have a little round cap on them and they fit through these holes and slip down and then you just push this little locking pin in. Now in this setup I've put a bolt in here and in the in the other piers over there I'm going to have this hole lined up with the center of the pier and I'm going to drill down and through the wood and the concrete just for security. I have these bolted in on this side on the bottom and I have the similar bolting up on the up on the top up there to give it a good firm foundation. As you can kind of see I have the other half of my maker space right here and I've put three you probably can't see the other two, but I put three of these cross members across here and I've put some of these uh, securing bolts to uh, make the cross member stay firm when I'm moving it with the tractor. I think, I think you can see that that's a pretty um, strenuous thing to do even by yourself. Um, basically you've got to stay alert. It's not the safest thing to do by yourself. Uh, so I wouldn't really suggest that you do this by yourself, but that's what I'm doing. So I can actually bring the pallet in underneath here. I have a free end open on this edge. I can bring it in right underneath here and put it up and lash it. I'm going to need to put a ladder in this uh, right in here so I can get up there and do the lash job. So that's the next step. And when the bucket raises it goes this way and when it tilts it goes this way. And so we're going to fire it up and see if it flies. I sure hope so. Houston, we have liftoff.
what happened when I was putting this uh, half of the, the uh, maker space in is the tractor tire pushed on these ends here. So I had to realign this and make it exactly eight feet from that side to that side and exactly eight feet from that side to that side and then measure across here for equal lengths so that we know that we're square and that has all happened and we've attached the tops up here and now the next thing to do is put in our floor.